All right, so welcome back to White House Farm, part two. Uh, the ground magnet, um, programming your old controllers, and hooking up the wireless MMS 100. So first we'll go ahead and show you the ground magnet. Luckily I was able to use my old one, which was a FM 138. Uh, it's 50 feet long. And uh, I was able to hook it up, as you saw from part of the uh, video I'm gonna show you now. But simply, your blue goes to exit, black goes to calm, and then your ground and your yellow go to auxiliary negative, and then your red goes to auxiliary positive. So that's how that's gonna set up for your ground magnet. And I'll show you here, show you how it works. I'll pull the vehicle up and it should open. You'll hear a beep too. So as you can see, and here, the beep went off and the gate opened up so you could drive through and you're gonna be able to watch here. It will automatically close uh, depending on how long you set it for on the, uh, actually uh, on the box up there, which I'll show you, but it should close in a couple seconds here. This way you don't have to use your remote uh, to exit the property. Yep, there we go. So it sounds that, makes that beeping noise and then it closes automatically. And to set how long it stays open, all you're gonna do is adjust this up here. And all the way around is your max. And then, you know, you, you turn it to get it to where you want it for like 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes. But it's that simple and it's all hooked up. Back to the ground magnet there for opening. It's that simple. It's those five wires and then you adjust your knob to how long you want it to stay open. And luckily, like I said, I already had mine buried in the ground here. So I was able to reuse it. And that's a good thing because they're 130 plus bucks. So that's working, works out good. Now, second thing, let me show you how to program your old remotes. And it's really simple. All you're gonna do is press and hold this button till it beeps. And then you're gonna press the clicker. That beeps, which means that it recognizes it. And here's a, and here's an older style one, even older than these other ones here. These are my newer ones. Press and hold. Press and hold. There we go. So here's just a little collection of some of my old clickers. These will all work with the gate now. See, I just pressed it. It's gonna open right up. And that's using the old clickers. So don't throw these out if you have your old ones. That's gonna hit the tripod. Boom. <laughs> All right, and then press it again, and obviously it'll close the gate. All right, so we got a bunch of our old clickers that'll now work, but we wanna hook up the wireless system. So let's go ahead and get into that. So here we go. And All right. So what do we got here? Antennas. 
Okay, so, so here's some antennas. Uh, this box and this plug, this is gonna go inside our house, um, right next to the router. So we can go ahead and install this and I'll show you how to do that. We'll open this up. All right, so that's what that looks like. And here's your antenna, pop that off. Pull one of these out of here. Cause the other one's gonna go inside, another one inside the house. All right, so, the mounting points for this are right here, right there, and then right there. And it's gonna snap right in there. And we gotta take this screw out right here. And this is gonna come through there and we're gonna attach our antenna. So let me go ahead and hook this up right now. And then I'll show you once it's all set. So once again, you're gonna take that and you're gonna pop that right on there. And you can see how that just fits right on there. So now we gotta take this out and connect up our antenna. All right, so there's like another little nut and like a lock washer for the antenna. So we're gonna go ahead and poke it through that hole and we're gonna secure the nut on there. All right, so you can see, just goes straight through and now it's secured on there. And that's plugged in there. And that's all there is to that right there, other than putting the antenna on here. And you want that facing up, just like your other one. So there we go. So that's all hooked up in there. Everything else is done. We got our ground magnet in there now for exiting. And we're all hooked up. So now we can actually screw this shut and be done with this for now. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this in now. Go ahead and take this out of here. And we can take the antenna protector off there. Screw that in. And here's our plug. Plug that in the side there. And we're gonna set this right next to the router because that's what it says to do. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in down there. All right, so that's plugged in. Red light just came on. Let's go ahead and set up our app on the phone. And we're gonna hit the Play Store. We're gonna do a search. And there it is right there. Mighty Meal MS 100. And it's the first one. We'll click on that. Hit install. And we can open it. And we're select OK. And now we're going to go ahead and hit create an account. Accept. 
and I gotta enter all my information in there. Once you got all in there, you hit the create button and now it's gonna send a confirmation email. So I'm gonna go ahead and check my email. Okay, for some reason, uh, I had to wait to get the uh, confirmed through Mighty Mule and it took like forever. I even called them. Uh, they said it could take up to 24 to 48 hours. Um, it took a little bit longer than that before I actually got a confirmation email to confirm on here, but finally went through. So now this is where we're at right here. And it just says install your gate opener and smart bridge module which we already did. Have your Wi-Fi network password, verify your Wi-Fi connection is stable, and stand next to the bridge. So this is the bridge right here. We got the red light on. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. And we're gonna allow Mighty Mule. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on our thing here. Next, and just enter the password. So now we need to press and hold the pair button on the bridge until the LED begins to flash red for approximately four seconds. So holding it, there we go, it flashed. Now we're going to tap on switch Wi Fi network button after reading below instructions. And then there's GTO Go. Click on that. Tap to go back. No Wi Fi signal. Go to home. And no devices connected. Okay. Change the picture in here. All right, so I got the picture of my gate and where they leave mail, even though I got a mailbox there. So, <laughs> okay, we got her open now, and it's saying stand next to the gate operator control box, standing next to it, open the control box and adjust the power level. Okay, so if this this fir first part doesn't work out for you, uh, there's directions on how to adjust it uh, for your distance and all that stuff. So you just follow the instructions here. Hey, Apricot. Look at those babies, they're getting big. Hey guys. <laughs> Georgie. Hey, George. Oh. Hey, Georgie. Hi, Peppa. Hi, Peppa. <laughs> Georgie. So now we need to hold down the S3 button for 10 seconds. Uh, a power level setting will be given via the number of uh, time the LED goes. One for low, two for medium, and three for high. Adjust the power level up to medium by pressing the S2 button. So here's the S3 button right here. So we'll press and hold that. Okay, so one for low. So we gotta press the S2 button. Increase the power level setting. So now there's two. Okay, so we're at level two now. 
So let's go back inside and see if this works. Okay, let's try and pair this thing. All right, there we go. Click on that. It's connecting. All right, so it registered the device. It says, congratulations, you're successfully connected. All right, so now it shows the gate has been added to my place. So now we can click on that. Yeah, yours hooked up. Um, can I pair it? Can I press pair? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let me open. <laughs> let me. Oh, I might be able to add you on here somehow, too. I have an account. So, what do I. It says it's open, I think. What do I do now? I think it's open. I think you pressed oh. it. Oh. I think I heard it close. Like, it said. Oh, this is pretty cool. Does it have the time? It, it actually tells you. How long you have left? No, it tell, it, yeah, but it tells you like uh, Daniel opened the gate or oh. gate was closed by. It? Yeah. Okay, so there's the gate button. So we're just going to press it. Oh. Yeah, there it goes. And it shows the seconds. Oh, one okay. minute. It'll open for one minute. That? Yeah, you can adjust that. Um, here, hold that. Oh, and it says gate gate opener opened by Daniel White. So now I want to close it and just press that button. And there it goes. It shows that it's still open because it's closing, and then it should change once it's closed yep and just saw the icon move closer and closer yeah yeah and now it's showing and then now now we got a message saying that the gate was closed by daniel white what if it just closes itself i don't know what the message is saying uh well it's it's an auto we have it on on the magnet for automatic but all right so i know it's kind of hard to see <laughs> All right, so, but, so I downloaded a picture of my gate there, and you can see that the gate is now closed. That's pretty neat. But it's all set up now, so now we can open and close it from the phone, which is pretty neat. So, so now, now that we're all set here, got finally got this thing working after all that. Um, yeah, it was a pain in the butt, <laughs> but we finally got it. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, only time will tell. Open. <laughs> I want you to see if you can add me. Please. Close. <laughs> I just gotta hope it doesn't get struck by lightning. All right. So if you want to invite someone so they can open your gate as a regular person or as a member, <laughs> uh, you just click that button. It'll send them an email with an invite. And he just accepted it via email. He just accepted it. Probably be able to go home. Oh yeah, there it is. What did the email places, say? Places, places, White, White House Farm, right here. Yep, okay. So I just so switched to places farm. and it's right here. Oh, and you got it automatically. Yep. Here, go ahead and try it. Press the button. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, so there you go. So that's, Two that's how you uh, add uh, another person, uh, anyone that has a cell phone, a smartphone. Uh, you could add them just by sending them that email. And then uh, there's uh, access restrictions you could put on them 
Um, or you can make an administrator depending on what you want to do. I made my son an administrator because he's my little tech guy. So, all right, we're all set here. We hope you guys like, enjoy, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf, we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye, Obo. Bye, guys.